So I've really been enjoying the process of going from digital to physical and physical to digital and looking at the way that these two uh, crafts sort of supplement and support each other and one makes the other better. And so I decided I'm going to make a series of YouTube videos showing the process of developing an underwear uh, for myself from scratch, partly because I just need new underwear. So I thought it'd be fun to document the process. Plus I have a lot of fabric in my stash that needs to get used up. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna be working on over the next couple of weeks. So today specifically for video number one, we'll be talking about fabric. So let's go have a look at the fabric that I selected. Okay, so this is the fabric that I'm going to use to make my underwear. It's just gonna be some basic, uh, like everyday underwear. I don't need or want anything super fancy right now. I just want something for everyday, super comfy wear. So I picked this bamboo cotton jersey blend. Um, so it's it's pretty lightweight. It's 200 GSM. GSM. I don't think I'd wanna go any heavier with it, um, but this I, this is like 200 gsm or less is probably what you want to go with for a for an underwear fabric and uh i like i think it'll be fun to play around with the stripes on this and see if i can come up with an interesting an interesting design so i have the ruler on the table here because i want to test the stretch of it which will help me develop the digital fabric so here i'm going to start at one and then I'm gonna come over to 10. And then I'm just going to, let's just make sure it's on green here. So starting at one over to 10, and then I'm gonna stretch it. And I get about 40 or, or 14, which is about 40%. So I would say 20, 30, 40% would be, any of those ranges would be good. Um, I'll probably use 20% for this garment. For, that's the long grain or that's cross grain and for the green line I'll measure this as well just so that I have that knowledge in my back pocket but I'm gonna start again at 1 come over to 10 and stretch and again we're getting from 20 to 40 percent stretch all right so we're back at the computer I have taken an image of the fabric and I've brought this into Photoshop. And what we're gonna do with this is create what's called a texture map to bring into Clo 3D, which is basically just a image of the fabric that's turned into a seamless repeat. And I'm not an expert at Photoshop, but I know enough to do what I need to do in Clo. So if anybody out there is watching and you have tips on how I can do this better, love to hear them. Okay, so, <clears throat> Here's the image, it's in Photoshop. I need to remove perspective distortion from the camera because you can see the lines aren't straight here. And then I also need to turn this into a seamless repeat. So the first thing I'm gonna do is unlock this background. And then I'm going to take this image and I'm going to go layer smart object, convert to smart object. Now under filter, <coughs> um, lens correction, I can go in here and I've tested this out already so I know that the best, let me just zoom out a little bit, um, the best correction under custom is to go to remove distortion and I'm going to go minus 11. And uh, you can play around th with this slider and see like what works best for you if, you if you're following along and trying to do another fabric. So minus 11 worked pretty good. And then I'm just going to select OK here. Now I'm going to crop this picture because all I need is something in the middle that works pretty good. So I'm going to take half of this black line and half of that black line. And that I'm looking for the lighting to be fairly even in the picture. And then I press enter and this is not too bad. I'm gonna crop it a little bit more because we have that blur there. And I'm going to 
correct the grain line a little bit. And I'm going to actually crop, I'm going to go through half of this black one and half of this black one at the bottom. And then maybe I'm going to crop this a little bit more. I'm trying to get this green line, this green line here to be straight. This one's relatively straight. We'll take half gray and half gray. Okay, let's try that. Um, so now I need to turn this into a seamless repeat. So I'm going to flatten these layers. So I'm going to go to image or layer flatten image and then I'm going to go to filter other offset and we're going to have a look at how the seamless repeat is working so first looking at the horizontal offset so I'm going to slide this over a little bit I can see it's happening actually I can't even see where it's happening <laughs> where is it so it's pretty good horizontally uh, I can't oh here it is here's the seam right here so I'm not too worried about that. I'm actually not going to do anything about that. The lighting is slightly different from one to the other, but uh, I think it's okay. And then the vertical repeat, let's look at that. Yeah, you can see that's a little more obvious. So here's the seam line here. Um, I'm just going to use the clone stamp tool. So that's fine. And then I'm going to use the clone stamp tool. And then I'm going to make the edges maybe a little more blurry. And then we're just going to grab like this here, alt click to get like that little snap. And then I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to do another, I'm just going to make it a little blurrier, I guess. Alt click and then put that there. Okay, let's test this out. Let's see how it works. Um, actually, this at the bottom is, I bet you, actually, no, it's fine because we're already on a uh, repeat. Okay, so once you're happy with what your repeat looks like here, you can go to File, Export as Quick PNG, and then you save it wherever you need to save it in your computer so that you can open it and close. Okay, so now we're in Clo. We're, we're going to grab a new fabric here. Under the fabric, we are going to go right click, Fabric Creator. And this is the actual fabric from Black Rabbit Fabric Shop that I bought <laughs> forever ago. And here's the actual composition of the fabric. So 66 rayon, 28 cotton, 6% spandex and three sixteenths of an inch for the width of the stripe. Okay, so we're here under Fabric Creator. We're gonna call this uh, Knit Cotton Rayon Jersey. And then Supplier Owner, that's fine. We can leave that none. And then under Fabric Type, we are going to put Knit or Jersey. And then under composition, uh, they don't have um, they don't have a cotton rayon mix. So I'm using a cotton modal mix. It's going to be pretty close results, I think. Uh, and then let's look back at the website: sixty-six rayon, twenty-eight cotton, six spandex. So twenty-eight cotton, sixty-six. This is what I'm using, I'm using modal for rayon, so 66 modal or rayon and 6% 6 uh, elastane. And the weight is uh, 200 GSM, okay? And so now we're at the maps. You can use like the magic wand and uh, Clo has an AI tool to make maps for you, but we have our own because we're actually, we want to represent the physical fabric that we're actually using. So under texture, we're going to go to these little squares here and open up the um, the picture, the image that we just made in Photoshop. So under here, I'm going to find where I saved that image. 
So you can see here it is. It's not the right scale yet, but it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, the seam, the, the repeat looks not bad at all. Uh, if your seam is, if your re repeats ever doesn't look great, just go back into Photoshop and mo modify it some more uh, if that's required. For a normal map, so this is cool in Clo, you can actually just create a normal map really quick from itself. Um, you just open the normal map and use the intensity slider to create a normal map. And then I'm not gonna make a displacement map because I'm not going to make a displacement map because uh, the it's just not, it just, it's gonna add extra geometry or like it just makes the file bigger and unnecessarily for this one and I don't need an opacity map so now I'm just going to hit apply uh, apply and close so now I'm going to create a piece of fabric and then I want to so yeah this is looking pretty good for the texture I can look at the render here as well That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, yeah, you can kind of see the repeat uh, that it's not perfect, but I'm not too worried about that because uh, like our underwear pieces are going to be like this size. And I don't think it's going to show up too much. So, okay. I'm not going to worry about the repeat anymore. That is good enough for me right now. Um, the next thing I need to do is scale these lines. So I said three sixteenths of an inch, uh, which is what? If I just grab my calculator, three divided by 16, 0.1875. So let's make sure we're in inches. And then offset as internal line, 0.189, 1875, so 188. And then let's make a few of them. So this is the scale that we need for our lines. So we're gonna use the texture editor here and we're just going to bring the scale down till it's roughly close to where we want it to be. So that is a little bit too, too small. So we're going to go up. I'm gonna right click so I have more control. I'm gonna use 110%. And let's see where we're at. We're close, it needs to be a little bit bigger. So right click and I'm going to go another 105%. And that looks good to me. Okay, so there's the appropriate scale of our fabric and there is, it also has the physical and the digital properties. So this is pretty closely representing the fabric that we are actually going to be sewing with. Um, okay, let's just delete all these internal lines and let's drape this over something so we can see how, it's, how it looks when it drapes. I'm just gonna bring in this sphere I'm going to put this on top of it. And then let's simulate. I'm going to bring the particle distance of this fabric down to eight and that's pretty cool so let me see if I can show you here oops okay there we go so this is the digital fabric that we've just created. And let me bring you uh, here and I'll show you the physical fabric. So 
So I don't. I wish I had like a perfect ball to put under it, but <laughs> you can see it looks pretty similar. And so I'm I'm very confident with uh, Chloe's ability to simulate the physical properties and the visual properties are, are kind of easier but the the physical properties of this fabric as well using that fabric creator it's a really cool tool um so that's the end of part one for this video we've created our fabric and moving forward i want to continue on in the digital environment i'm going to pick a style of panty that i want to draft i'm going to make an avatar that represents my body shape and type so that i can make a pattern for her and then we're actually going to print out that pattern and sew it up and have fun along the way. All right, so if there's anything that you learned from this video, I'd love to hear it. If there's anything you think that I could learn from what you saw me doing in this video, I'd also love to hear it. And uh, thanks for being here and I'll catch you next time. Of our fabric into Photoshop and we're going, we're going to work this. Ugh.